Dun, dun, dun. <sighs> Hello! Uh, this is my second video. And I am making it because I wanted to tell you guys about this really fun thing that I'm doing this summer. It's called Summer Reading Bingo. I got the idea from a podcast I listened to. It's called Books on the Nightstand. They're really awesome. It's Michael Kindness and Ann Kingman. They both are booksellers for Random House. So they read a ton of books because that's their job. Um, and they created this podcast to share their share the books that they're most excited about with everybody. It's, it's a fabulous podcast. You should really check it out. So in the last podcast I listened to, they were talking about how they created a summer reading bingo card uh, for their listeners. And they don't really have any set rules for it. You can use it however you want. So I got really excited and I decided to use it to play actual bingo. Bingo! Ah! So here are the rules. You go to the link that'll be in the description and you print out your card. It's, it says books on the nightstand bingo at the top. Um, it's got a bunch of different categories on it. Genres like science fiction, mystery, specific types of books like books with only words on the cover, books with blue covers, and it also has instructions like reread something or pick something that you don't think you're gonna like. So there's a bunch of different options. The free space you're gonna use for whatever book you're currently reading. If you're in the middle of something, use it for your free space. So when I printed out my card, I was in the middle of reading Americana, so that's in my free space. And then I will be drawing squares out of this delicious smelling former, former candle holder. It's delicious. Um, I'm going to be drawing them every Sunday. And I tweet them. My I'll put a link to my Twitter in the description. It's also on my channel. And I also put them in the original post about this on my blog. It's boo! Yeah, I'll put the link there in the description as well. All the links! All the links in the description. I've been doing this for a couple of weeks already. Um, so the first two categories are a poetry collection, which is not on my card, which I was a little relieved about. I'm not gonna lie, cause I'm not the biggest fan of poetry. Uh, and an audiobook. And when I drew an audiobook, I had just finished listening to one, but I decided that using that as this category would be cheating. So I picked a whole new one. So that's the another rule is you can't just fill in these squares with books you've already read that fit this fit these categories. I could fill up this card with books I've already read, but that's not the game. It's summer reading bingo. So it's books you're going to read this summer. So I'm really excited about this and I want people to play with me. And because I want people to play with me, I've decided to include a giveaway. I haven't I haven't decided what the prize is going to be yet. Maybe a couple books, maybe a gift card to somewhere. But to win, you have to send me a picture of your filled out bingo card. You have to fill out all the categories on a line, like bingo. Um, and then also send me pictures of the books that you read. If it's an audiobook, a screenshot of whatever app you're using will suffice. Um, just because I want to make sure that you actually had your hands on the book that you said you read at some point. I obviously can't police whether or not you did the reading, but I really hope that you will because one of the reasons that I'm so excited about this is that there are things on here that I would not read on my own, especially the category, a book that you think you'll dislike. I mean, clearly you're not going to pick up a book you think you're not going to like, um, but if I get that square, I'll do it. And as such, I will have exposed myself to something that I wouldn't normally have read, and that's always exciting. One other thing, you don't, just because I'm drawing a new category once a week does not mean that you have to read a new book every week, because that's crazy. Even I don't do that. If you do do that, that's awesome. I don't know how, but keep it up. Good job. But you don't have to for the purposes of this game. You can take as long as you want to finish the books, or if you turn out turns out you don't like it, you don't have to finish it. So I'm drawing a new category once a week because uh, there's a lot of categories, and the more categories I draw, the faster someone gets to bingo. Bingo! Ah! You just pick the ones that fit in your 
line. So right now I have an audiobook filled in, and so any of the ones now that go either diagonal or across or vertical, those are the ones that I'm going to do next because the point is to fill out one whole line of bingo. Bingo! Ah! You should also send me a video of yourself shouting bingo because that's how you win in bingo. You get the full line and then you go bingo! And that's the exciting part. So yeah, subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. Uh, follow me on Twitter. I also have a blog page on Facebook. You can also follow my blog. There's a way to subscribe by email. I hope I didn't forget anything. All right, bye! You're in the middle. That's embarrassing. This is super duper awkward. Ooh, turn it off the camera.